What's going on friends? Welcome back to the Honeystead. You guys see what I have got growing right here behind me. I have been waiting an entire year to do a harvest. We did have a few grow earlier this summer, earlier mid summer ish, but then we got hit with a drought and then nothing grew and I was kind of devastated and I thought I, thought I might have messed up but then we were blessed with some rain and some warmer days and check it out we have got some shiitake mushrooms growing if you want to go back and watch how we inoculated them we did them about a year ago we used some oak logs and inoculated them with plugs and then covered them with beeswax stacked them here and we've been waiting and today's the day so I'm gonna go ahead and harvest what we can and then I wanna go ahead and load it up into the Harvest Right freeze dryer because I wanna preserve them just the way that they are so that we can enjoy them over, over the winter months when we don't exactly have the mushrooms. Now granted, this isn't a massive batch but I've got dreams and I've got visions and I can't wait to share them with you. But for right now, we're gonna do this. So come on, let's go harvest some shiitake mushrooms. Look how beautiful. Oh my goodness. It looks like we're gonna have more in a matter of days. I think there's a few more that I saw down there. I'm gonna take these into the apothecary and we're gonna clean them up a little bit so that we can get them ready for the Harvest Right freeze dryer. Now I have gone back and forth. I'm actually not gonna go ahead and wash these. I'm just gonna brush them off. We did get a nice rain, um, so I'm thankful for that. But I don't wanna add too much moisture because honestly, when I freeze dry these, I'm gonna freeze dry them raw because my intentions are when I go to, when I go to eat them, um, I'm gonna go ahead and wash them to reconstitute them so that we can then cook with them. So that's my thought process. I'm sure that there's so many different ways, but they're not bad. <laughs> they're not bad at all. And that's pretty heavy. That's a good bit of shiitakes. I'm taking my foraging mushroom knife and it has a little brush on the end. And all I'm doing is just brushing away any little bits of debris or plant matter or potentially little buggies that might be hiding hiding inside the mushroom. I don't necessarily want to freeze dry the little bugs, so just brush them away, clean them up as best as possible. This is food that grows outside. These are wild foods. I will be adding water to them after I have them freeze dried so that when we reconstitute, it's gonna be part of the washing out process if there's anything that you know might be a little bit questionable. But this is wild food and I'm okay with the wildness <laughs> still. Uh, but these mushrooms are gorgeous. I mean, they're beautiful. I think we, we were able to harvest them at the perfect time and slicing them up. They are definitely really thick 
And so I'm, I am leaving them a little bit thicker only because I have four trays for my medium freeze dryer. If I had more, I'd maybe slice them a little bit thinner, but I'm okay with it because I know as we use these, I might chunk them up or slice them up and you know, I'm, I'm good with it. There's, it might not be perfect. I might have some culinary experts that might raise their eyebrow, but you know what? We're fine with it. This is absolutely what I have been waiting for. And I've got some more plans with mushrooms. I've got ideas, I've got visions, and I've got goals, and I can't wait to share them with you. I am planning on learning how to save spores so that I can continue the cultivation of my mushrooms. Shiitakes are new for me. I, I've grown oyster mushrooms, but I've mainly foraged. I've mainly foraged for morels, lion's mane, chicken of the woods. I've also found a few random, like the old man of the woods. I think they're gonna be popping up soon and I'll be able to, to show those to you guys as I see them. The other one that I just found the other day was a pheasant back. Those are very stunning. Um, but foraging and cultivating, that's two different worlds. And that's something that I, I plan on growing my knowledge and my skill set. And I'm gonna have to bring people in that are gonna help to, to show and teach me. And I'm gonna obviously uh, introduce you to them so that you guys can learn and follow their story. And pretty much there's just more to come. And yeah, this is just the start of it. And I'm I'm just very much excited to to learn to learn something old. It took about 16 hours to freeze dry all of these shiitake mushrooms. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put some in a jar. Let's see, ready? That's crazy. Yeah, it's like styrofoam. I was able to get one half gallon size mason jar of freeze dried shiitake mushrooms as well as two decent sized mylar bags that I will label. Don't worry, <laughs> I'm not gonna forget. Now if anyone is interested in purchasing a harvest rate freeze dryer, I will share. I have a medium size, there's smaller, there's a large, and then there's like even an extra large which is one that I, I've already got my eye on it <laughs> next. Um, and I do have an affiliate link that I will share down below. And if anyone has any questions about the Harvest Right, feel free to comment down below and I will make sure to try to answer and help. Uh, but having a freeze dryer here has been one of my favorite ways of preserving not only uh, leftover foods, building up my stockpile, also obviously my herbs and then we have been able to freeze dry a good bit of mushrooms the ones that i foraged for and now the ones that the ones that i have been able to to grow uh, which is even more exciting 
but shiitake mushrooms are the second most cultivated mushroom that is grown here in the u.s and i want to share with you because i know a lot of people they look at mushrooms and they think about it as just food but mushrooms have so much more that they can offer and i want i want you to look start looking at the foods and the things that you're putting into your body as medicinal as as supportive for your health now i wanted to share this is one of my favorite medicinal mushroom books that we keep here in our apothecary and i reference quite often i was blessed with an opportunity to go listen to christopher hobbs speak about medicinal mushrooms and of course as soon as i saw him i was like let me have your book <laughs> let me buy your book and will you sign it so that was exciting for me he he uh he's really written a an amazing guide um, that i've used quite a bit on harvesting turkey tail and how to preserve it to get that beta glucan if you are interested in his book i do have it on our amazon store so that anyone could easily find it um, but he he's got a lot to offer and i if you're interested in learning more about mushrooms i would absolutely go check him out but shiitake mushrooms not just food they have a lot more to offer texture wise it is a a very meaty mushroom it's a very earthy mushroom and it's pretty hearty you can do quite a bit with it you can marinate it like you would meat it could be a meat alternative but i want to talk about the medicinal properties and what it can actually do to help support your body not just food now christopher hobbs shares that there's actually some research in regards to people that are going through cancer treatment and and having this mushroom as part of their diet and how supported that it is for your overall health but it's also hepatic protectant so that means it's going to support your liver there are some other research about blood sugar and if you if you might have pre-diabetes incorporating incorporating shiitake mushrooms into your diet to lowering your blood sugar it's also very supportive for your cardiovascular system as well as has some benefits in reducing your cholesterol and then the other thing that i thought was absolutely beautiful is that if you can eat one to two fruiting body which is the mushroom itself um, one to two fruiting bodies a couple of times a week it will boost your immune system and help your body be able to support itself against all the colds and bugs that might be going around so not only is it a delicious food source but it is also medicinal and if you think about the food that you're putting into your body as being supportive choose the good foods choose the things that are going to help your body shiitake is one that is very common it's easy to get you can go to the grocery store it's there if you don't have to grow it but if you do want to grow it it only takes a couple of logs and all you have to do is sit and wait and of course you know be able to enjoy the harvest once it's ready um, but I, I don't want you to disregard mushrooms and there are so much more information out there about shiitakes and one that you know it's not just food it's for your body and if you're getting into herbalism or if you're learning about shiitake mushrooms the world does combine it is not two separate entities it is absolutely one big circle that is there to help support your body for for your overall health and balance and homeostasis so don't disregard mushrooms and don't disregard the herbs work together and definitely look at food because this this is all food and it's all here and we get to use it and incorporate it and help help support our body and what a blessing that it's here for us to be able to use and i can't wait to talk more about mushrooms and some of the things that i plan on doing here in the near future and growing and of course i'm going to be taking you guys along along this adventure with me and talk more about the mushrooms and things that i'm going to be growing and we might go out and do a little foraging today it's lion's mane season so i've got my fingers crossed that we'll find a few and i'll be able to preserve uh, preserve with you guys next but as always don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old bye guys <laughs>